Hey guys, it's Trip with Ift, and today we're talking about webhooks. What are webhooks, and then how do you set them up on Ift? But before we get started, I want you to like and subscribe. We're always trying to grow our YouTube channel, and honestly, we're kind of moving into this new world where a lot of our information is going to exist on YouTube. So if you want to kind of keep up to date with Ift and you know learn how to use Ift a little bit better, then like and subscribe. Throw some comments in there. I want to see like what applets you're using what your favorite applet is. And I want to build a little community on YouTube. So let's get started. And here we are on the webhooks integrations page. If you want to build your own service on Ift, click that button right here. It'll send us, send you to the developer dashboard and you can actually build your own custom solution on Ift. If you just want to uh, build a webhook integration, which is a whole lot easier, you can basically create one right here. And I just wanted to show you real quick, if you click this documentation button right here, it sends you to your own personal service page for your webhook right here. So up here is gonna be your key. So this is my personal one. Use it if, it, if I haven't refreshed it already. And as we kind of scroll down, this kind of gives you some insight in, on how to use the webhook system. So if you want to um, trigger an event, with an arbitrary JSON payload. So most of the time, this is the URL, like if you're in a third party app and they say, hey, what's your webhook URL, right? This is the URL you're gonna use. This event is the name of the event you put at the start of your uh, webhook app list. Sometimes if you're using web webhooks, you can add a JSON body to that. If you wanna know a little bit more about our webhook service, click this FAQ section and it'll send you here. And this will give you a lot more information. Kind of teach you how to use it a little bit more. It talks about the different specific requests that you can do. To get started and do something really quick, I do want to just highlight, let's go back into the webhooks system. So if you clicked in the details down here, you've got two triggers, receive a web request with a JSON payload. If you have a JSON payload, you're gonna know what that means. And if you could just receive a web request, all right? And when I talked about the event name, if you click into this, um, there is a label here. There's, I'll show you in a second when we create our applet, but that's where you put the event name. And so when you add that name in your URL, it's the thing that basically says, you have your uh, custom auth token. And so the URL says, to me, Tripstan, trigger the applet with this event name. So I'll show you what that means in a second. And as we go back, you can query, you can add webhooks as a query in your applet. So like you have one trigger and then you wanna trigger a web request to a third party tool, maybe pull some data and then pull that back with the webhook and then add it to another tool on it. So that's a really cool way to use webhooks. And then finally you can have triggers internally at Ift, and then you want to send information to a third-party tool outside of Ift, you can make a web request with that as well. So let's get started. Let's just create a quick webhook, and I kind of want to just show you how it looks. All right, so I'm going to say add, and I am going to say, let's do webhooks. I'm going to say receive a web request, and the uh, event name, let's say Google, actually, all over pit case, Google, sheets test one all right i'm going to create this trigger and then i'm going to say add it to google sheets okay google sheets say add a row to a spreadsheet we're under trip at if.com if you want to email me feel free it automatically adds the spreadsheet name but you can customize that formatted row and it'll highlight the different values you can have up to three values in there and then it'll add the spreadsheet onto a specific sub URL inside of Google Sheets. So if we click create action and then continue, I'm just basically, this is a test. I just wanna show you how this works. Test, I'm gonna say finish. All right, so we're live right now. It should be running. How do we test it? Okay, so there is a really cool tool called Postman, check this out, boom. So I, inside of Postman, you can like test out web requests. It's pretty cool. So postman.co, go check it out. I am inside of Postman and I have this option to so get, post, post, put, patch, delete, head, or options. I am sending a web request. So it's a post, basically I am mailing a letter to someone else, right? 
This is the URL. Let me see. The event that I'm doing here is Google Sheets test one. Remember that I just added that as my event in my tr trigger on the web request. And then it says with key, this is the key you've seen before. And then it adds these different values. I said trip stand as value one, automation man as value two, do the rescue as value three. The way we set that Apple up is we want each one of those to fall into its own column. All right, so what we're gonna do is I've already tested it out, it works. Basically you're gonna say sent, boom. And it says, congratulations, you fired that applet. All right, so let's go back here. Let's run one time, view activity. If the maker event Google Sheets test one, or that was the event I named it, then add a row to trip at ifs Google Drive spreadsheet. So perfect. Value one is trip stand, the automation man, and value three is to the rescue. Okay, cool. All right, guys, so it's really easy how to use it. Just make sure you kind of have that URL set up correctly and that the event name matches the applet trigger that you're referring to, and then that your custom auth token for that web request exists at the very uh, far end of the URL, and you should be fine. Well, thanks, guys. I hope that helps you use webhooks a little bit better. And if you have any questions, feel free to slide a comment uh, down below or you got my email. So just feel free to send me an email. And again, this is Trip with IFT, where we believe everything works better together. Bye, guys.